So over here you can see that there are two slides and let's say I want to add in something like a background music over there. So to do that I can go over here on to media and I can choose audio right over here. Once I do that I can choose the audio file that I want over here from the explorer uh, window that pops up. So the audio files that are supported by Captivate are WAVE and MP3 as you can see right over here. So mine is an MP3 format so I'm just going to open it out then it'll process and import the audio out over there. So now as it processes you can see that there are three options right over here. The first option is show the slide for the same amount of time as the length of the audio file. So what happens is that it'll uh, see the length of the audio file and it'll expand the slide according to the audio file over there. So that's not what I want right now. The other two options are there as well. So the retain current slide duration and distribute the audio file over several slides is it does not change the slide duration but it expands the audio uh, um, accordingly across the slide. So this is if you want to retain the same um, 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 same slide timing. So you don't want to change it according to the audio, then you choose this. The other option is distribute the audio over, over several slides. So this gives you an extra option um, uh, for where you want the audio to start from in the second slide. So when you import audio, you do want this option to show up so you do not want to check on do not show me this again so now as i select the second option i'm going to press ok right over here so now you can see that there's a small editor window where you can zoom in and out right over here and here you can see that the second slide bar is right over here so i'm gonna drag it on the beginning right over here just like this as you can see so as you have more slides you'll see more of these bars right over here so let me just zoom in and now i know that the second slide will appear somewhere around uh the seven seconds so let me just drag it around so let's say i want it to appear right around five seconds or four seconds right over here just like this and once I'm happy with this I'm going to press save right over here so once I press save it'll apply the audio effect right over here and then once you're happy with it just press close right over here so now if you were to preview this the first slide will play for the first four seconds and then it'll continue on to the next slide so let's go over here onto the preview onto the project right over here and then let's see how that actually looks like over here so now that's the preview, so let's play this out. And now you can see that that is how it works like. So this is in case you want like slides to have a particular timing, but if you uh, want to keep an interactivity, you don't want slides to be connected with audio, then the third option is usually the best one. So you go to media, go to audio right over here. So um, I don't want to change the audio right over here. So I'm just going to bring this in. So it's importing the audio again, as you can see. And the third option is usually the one you want to go for if you don't want any timing to be affected. So it's just imported over there just like that. So if you were to press the play button right here. Okay, so you got the audio right over there just like that as you can see. So I'm just going to preview the entire project right over here. And you can see that it does not affect uh, the slide timings at all. So if you have interactivity, then that would be the best option to go with. So that is how you can uh, add in background music inside of Adobe Captivate projects. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.